Hey guys, I'm Tammy and I'm gonna make you some guacamole. I just wanna do, um, like show you my recipe. And sometimes I actually just smash up avocado, put a little bit of like lime and salt and it's pretty plain. And then if I wanna doctor it up, I usually just add like a half a cup or a cup of like salsa to it. But this time I'm gonna, I just want like a really fresh guacamole. We bought some avocado today. My husband said if you're gonna buy avocado, you might as well make guacamole, so. And these are kind of big chunks, so I'm just gonna make like really chunky, like a, almost like a pico de gallo. And except without the jalapeno, this isn't gonna be like a, um, super spicy it's gonna be really mild and these are just cherry tomatoes these are like the ones you take the little sticker lid off and then you rinse it right in the container it comes in I like these because I like all the different like colored ones I think it makes it really pretty to not just have like the red Right, I think that is a good amount. And then I also like to make things like this in these kind of containers so that if there's leftovers, I just put the lid right on it, put it in the fridge. Also, this is cilantro that I bought, I don't know, at least a week, week and a half ago and see how pretty and perfect it is. So when you get cilantro, I always rinse it off really good. And then I, um, just put it in water like this in a cup in the fridge and it's like absolutely perfect condition anyways I'm not gonna put a ton but I do want and I want to take off like some of the stem I've seen some people just pick it off like this you can eat some of the stem, you don't have to take it all off, but these are like the thick pieces I wanna take off. I don't want like a whole stem in my mouth. Look at this, this one, look at that cilantro leaf, that's huge. So I'm just gonna kind of break it up. And then I don't wanna chop it with my knife. I feel like it gets, um, like you damage the leaf a little. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. And you know what, these are still kind of big. Okay, maybe chop it, however you wanna do it. And then I bought some lime. So I'm gonna squeeze a whole half a lime. And then I actually canned today some chicken soup. So I had leftover onion. The onion. So like right now, this looks just like a pico de gallo without the jalapeno, right? Looks amazing. I love to make this. And now, I hope these are right. That I never buy avocado because I can never buy like the perfect, like I already feel like this is maybe too hard. I'm going to do, let's see. Let's do this one. I mean, it looks perfect. It's just not super soft. All right. It's good avocado, right? And then literally I just do that way, that way, take a spoon. This one feels like a little hard. This one that's kind of hard, I might just smash it up a little better. And then this one that's literally perfectly ripe. Just comes out in like little squares. And probably didn't need more than one because this is just 
a little snack for me and my husband right now. But I do like it a little creamy. So, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this avocado. It's a little like stiff because it's overly ripe. And I'm gonna show you a little trick. 